What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and today's video girl, girl, honey, 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 girl, oh my gosh. I think it was Trixie Mattel that was saying that there's like a gay guy who lives in California who pretends that he knows everything and he'll just be like, honey, 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 girl, that's seriously, that's, I'm channeling that right now, girl. So I was watching Busted Ass, Gigi Gorgeous, girl. Oh my God, we have not talked about Gigi Gorgeous in forever on this damn YouTube channel, girl. Get the video started. <laughs> So I remember the last time I talked about Gigi Gorgeous, so, so many people were offended, girl. Because I had made a joke, because Gigi Gorgeous has a girlfriend, and she looks like a bum, okay? Like, she dresses like, girl, what the hell are you wearing, Miss Thing? Okay, you like your damn bum collection, Kanye West or whatever. So, like, she'll have pants with holes, little scringy, scrungy looking shirt and hair all messed up like I hadn't been washed in days. So, that's Gigi Gorgeous girlfriend look busted the house. And I know, because so many people wanted to feel like they had to correct me, girl. It is true that Gigi Gorgeous girlfriend is a billionaire of the world, okay? We understand, okay? I get, the, I get that. But, girl, just because you're a billionaire of the world, I mean, damn. You're gonna wear down sweatpants with holes in it, girl, and, and a shirt that looks like it smells like cigarettes or something, girl. But anyway, this is my opinions, girl, and I'm allowed to have it. So I had made the joke that Gigi Gorgeous dresses amazing head to toe, like beautiful gowns and everything. And then behind her is this damn bum looking girlfriend, girl. And I, and I had said that she's probably walking to the airport or mall, and there's some, and then they see Gigi Gorgeous looking like star diva of the world, and then there's some bum behind her, girl, walking around. And I had just made an assumption that it could happen that security or police would walk up to Gigi Gorgeous and be like, ma'am, ma'am, is this, is this bum bothering you over here? Is this bum bothering you? And then Gigi Gorgeous would be like, oh, no, that's my partner. That's my girlfriend. That was a joke. And I thought it was a pretty good joke, too. But apparently people were so offended by it. But, girl, that's what it is, girl. It looks like that. Gigi Gorgeous looking like a runway model. And you got the bum following you behind you, girl. Chain smoking the house. It just looks like, girl, just bum bothering you. But anyways, we'll move on for that, okay? What I want to talk about is how unrelatable Gigi Gorgeous has gotten, girl. She used to be... And there was a comment that said, and I, I try to quote it. It says something about like, Gigi Gorgeous, just please stop doing YouTube. Just go out on a high note. Go out on good memories that we have of you. Because what you're doing now, girl, is very offensive. So Gigi Gorgeous made a video talking about Walmart clothes I'm going to wear for a week. And in that video... She basically was talking about, oh, I never shop at Walmart, but then contradicts herself because the necklace that she loves, she found it at Walmart or something like that, and she was loved so much. Then she walks up to an employee girl, and she's like, do you love your job? Do you love working here? And the guy's like, is this, is, is this your dream job? And the guy's like, no. It's just like, it came across very disrespectful because of the fact that majority of her subscribers shop at Walmart, okay? I myself, I can sit up here all day long and unbox Chanel and Louis Vuitton for you guys, and we can talk about all the luxury stuff of the world, but honestly, you keep it real, girl. My Some of my socks be from Walmart, some of my shoes be from Walmart. You know what clothes I do get from Walmart? It's like the basketball shorts, and the active wear, girl, okay? And sometimes the skinny jeans. You know, I think it's pretty, like, I don't knock it. Like, I just, it just doesn't seem like, girl, no ma'am, okay? I don't know. It, it almost seems like, I don't know. Like, she knew what she was doing when she was filming the video. But it's almost like, are you doing it to be controversial? Or are you doing it because you honestly think that this is what people wanted to watch? Because the whole concept of the Gigi Gorgeous video was just very bust at the house. In the sense that she just made it seem like I'm super mega rich and everything around me is so poor, the house. And if you want to keep it real, let's keep it real, girl. A lot of people who are transitioning to be female to male or male to female get their clothes from Walmart, okay? I know a lot of boys who want to be women and are struggling with the transition. They, they don't know what's going on, okay? Like, they go buy their bras and panties from Walmart. Okay, so if you're gonna sit up here and say that you're transitioning, okay, not that she is, I'm talking about just other people in general, that if you're transitioning because you want to be trans or are trans, 
that you're gonna all your stuff is gonna be from designer no ma'am you know what I'm saying you gotta start from the bottom and work way up you gotta see what your true size is honestly you know how are you gonna know what bra size and what panty size you really are if you're a man transitioning to be a woman like it just I felt bad about it because I know there's a lot of trans people who when they start dressing to present themselves as male or female they get their stuff from Walmart you know what I'm saying so it just doesn't make sense that she kind of downplayed it. it it was like her whole video was like I'm gonna wear Walmart for a week straight or something like that and then it just was had a very condescending tone throughout the whole entire video whether that was her goal or not it had a condescending tone throughout the video what she should have done PR okay because the point dexters were all up in her comments over there girl what she should have done is been like cool stuff that you can get at Walmart or here's a good one right here a hundred dollar Walmart outfit and then turned it out girl now in order for it to be successful she would have probably had to get a top or a bottom and then take it to like a seamstress to maybe you know give it a little snatch you know because Walmart stuff just t tends to be like you know a little larger but you can snatch it girl okay like especially like men's dress shirts girl if you get a plain white men's dress shirt I think the brand's like George or we want to well you know Walmart has a brand called George but I call it Jorge or Jorge, if you want to be all fancy, girl. If you take that plain white, crisp white shirt, girl, and you go get it altered to be sucked in right here and sucked in through the back so you can look really structured and snatched, it looks amazing. Like an easy $100 dress shirt you could get at Dolce & Gabbana. I'm just being honest with you at all. You know what I'm saying? A lot of this stuff at Walmart, it's a little baggy, but if you get it snatched, you get it taken in a little bit, it can look good. Her video, and if you don't believe me, you can search YouTube a $100 Walmart challenge, $200 Walmart challenge. You can see the looks that people are turning out of Walmart for less than $100 or $100. I'm clock at the house, girl. It's like a thing on YouTube. What, what Gigi Gorgeous did was already damage her reputation even more. And you know what? I'm starting to notice like this new YouTube trend. It used to be that we get on YouTube to build a brand or build the image, okay? But now it just seems like, you know what? Let's destroy our brand. Let's destroy our image. Let's talk about kids and stranger things. Let's do collaborations that then we'll release new packaging a month later. Let's do this to make us look bad. Like that's like, it's like, it used to be like how popular you are, but now it's kind of like, let's see who could be the most controversial. Let's see who could start the most drama. There you go. That's what it is about now. I have already unsubscribed from Gigi Gorge a long time ago. I'm not telling you to do that. By all means, stay subscribed. I need y'all to because when she does some drama, y'all end up messaging me and here I am doing a video. But at the same time, I just feel like somebody in Gigi Gorgeous' position has enough influence and enough power to make some really good changes in the world. And you know what? I think I might subscribe back to her channel because at this point, it's like a train wreck. Like, I want to watch what else offensive, crazy, kooky, ooky, spooky thing that she's going to do next, girl. Because it's like a train wreck. And everybody likes to watch a train wreck. That's why we watch drama channels. Love so much. And so I'm like, you know what? This is cool. So I think I will subscribe back, girl. Because I want to see what type of drama she can get into next. Then she's like hopping around Walmart trying on the clothes. Some of the clothes look good. Like the dress that she was going to turn out. That was cute the house, girl. But... Some of the stuff she intentionally got that looked busted, girl. The shoes were cute. The sparkly shoes were cute. The dress was cute. Everything else, busted the house, girl. She just got it to put down name Walmart or whatever. And I just feel that it's totally disrespectful. And Gigi Gorgeous really needs to start focusing on, focus, focusing on the other trans girls that are in her category and how well they're doing compared to what, how well she's doing. Because if you compare... Gigi Gorgeous to other trans girls in the community. They're blowing her out of the water, girl. They're doing foundations. They're making a name. They're making a legacy for yourself. And I think that's what it's really all about. At the end of the day, when people pass away and stuff like that, you remember their legacy and what they leave behind. And I think once you achieve a certain amount of fame like Gigi Gorgeous is, you should start working on the legacy you want to leave behind. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm trying to say. 
And I just feel like she's doing a very poor job at it. And every video she does has gotten worse and worse and worse and worse. And I love watching this match. Because you give me something to talk about. And at the same time, I think I, I think she enjoys us talking about her and the drama because she keeps doing it. You know what I'm saying? But as always, girl, if you like the video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, share it with your haters so when they watch it, they lost 10 minutes of their life, they'll never get back. And don't forget, I do have merchandise down below, so check it out if you want. All right, see you next video. Peace. <laughs>